How's it going, JDM crew? Greatest crew. Y'all are awesome. Thanks for stopping by again. We've got a uh, pretty nice R32 today, as you can tell from the cockpit. A little bit uh, different here. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Of course, what's interesting though is kind of like the blend of like a couple of upgrades, but also it's kind of tame. Uh, not over the top on this. The interior is pretty stock for the most part. But uh, we do have a few improvements here, especially these Defi gauges. I definitely like this. Uh, of course, I have some concern though because that's extra glossy for the little housing there. Uh, if you're driving towards the sunset or in mid afternoon, you could get some pretty strong reflections there. But yeah, over here. We do have uh, water temperature, oil temperature, and oil pressure. Over here I've got the boost. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, <laughs> but uh, it's over on my right side here. Very nice. Yeah, very clean, bright white LEDs. And I got uh, 320 kilometer an hour gauges over here, uh, which we won't be making much use of today, but you could definitely rest assured it could make pretty good use of most of it and uh, yeah outside of just like a couple of mods here we've got a Kenwood audio deck um, the rest of the interior is pretty stock <laughs> stock headliner stock everything else it's actually pretty quiet in here we've got a Fujitsubo exhaust in the back so we do have everything opened up and quite a few mods on this which I'll show you in a little bit in the engine bay uh, exterior is actually pretty OEM looking, though it does have Nismo uh, wheels, so they're the nice uh, black Nismo wheels. But the uh, body kit is pretty much OEM looking, but it's got a nice white on black, you know, style. Very clean. But yeah, so no crazy body kits or anything like that. Just a really nice uh, exterior. But uh, yeah, once I get into the engine bay, you guys are going to like what you see. And at, at the same time, I'm not really sure what the power levels are. Um, <laughs> it can be adjusted quite a bit as they do have the HKS cams installed. We've got the cam gears. Uh, actually, the engine bay. It's got really cool looking uh, see-through uh, housing for the uh, timing belt area. So you can actually see that in action. So you can see we can open it up quite a bit. And you can actually hear the turbo, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so as you can tell, it spools up really well, and you can hear it, but you notice it's not that crazy loud like some other cars we've had, <laughs> which is really good. Very, very streetable, but plenty of power and performance here. And uh, we do have coilovers all around. They are adjustable. Very nice. I would probably raise the rebound a little bit more just so yeah with this spring rate it's pretty smooth for the most part but certain bumps it's a little bouncy so uh, I'd probably dial those up a little bit more but uh, definitely handles really well here uh, as you can see I got OEM steering wheel here so that's the thing it's a little bit more uh, I guess tame a little bit more gentlemanly I suppose just uh, refined in a more subtle way but yeah with the opened up uh, intake and exhaust it's uh, all around really really nice yeah the intercooler piping as well is quite large diameter so and now we're getting into a little bit of traffic disappointingly but uh, that's really all I got to say about that I, I'm just gonna fast forward to the uh, 
warehouse. So you can see the engine bay. That's really where a lot of the action is. I mean, for here, it's not really too crazy on the interior. And uh, driving wise, well, there's not really much I can show you as we head into traffic here. So, whoop, you hear that flutter? Yeah, there we go. Get that turbo spooling up a little bit. I mean, I'm not really revving too high, so we, we can't really uh, make full use of that boost. So yeah, let's fast forward over there so I can show you the exterior and the engine bay so you guys can see a little bit more about what's going on there. All right, so starting from the interior, you guys are probably not gonna be too impressed because it's, uh, if you're looking for crazy mods, that's not what we got here. <laughs> it's quite clean, OEM looking, mostly OEM like the shift knob, e-brake. Do have a nice older Kenwood audio deck. It does have iPod support through USB, which, uh, hold on a second, it's right here. So, uh, got that little multi-tap for the little DC power. But uh, yeah, like there's not really any crazy mods. Oh, let me open the door here for some more light. Yeah, see, original carpets and all. Original seats. Uh, what we do have though, we do have some Defi gauges here. Very nice. Actually, hold on, let me, uh... Alrighty, same here. And that's the boost gauge right here. Obviously not boosting because it's off. And a turbo timer here, let me turn that off. There we go. And uh, here's the mileage here that we know of. Uh, they did replace it with the 320 gauges, but the uh, full mileage is not known. Doesn't seem to be too much higher than that. You know, it's probably somewhere around 100,000 to 120, 130,000 maybe, because actually the chassis is in pretty good shape. But uh, hold on, let me step out here so you guys can see the driver's side and then uh, then we'll start to get into the rest of the car. But here I'll show you carpet and the seats. And it does have a little bit of wear from getting in and out. Headliner's in good shape and uh, as you can see with the rest of the interior here, it's pretty good shape overall. So it's definitely been driven, but nothing too crazy in terms of mileage and uh, the wear on the seats. So, I mean, uh, that's why I give that estimate probably somewhere around 120 to 150,000, maybe. But over here, we got that. Nice door panels and everything. And uh, let me pop the hood and trunk. So you guys can see under there. We'll get further into this. And so we do have the exhaust and everything. So just a little quick overview before we look at the details here. As you can see, really nice condition of the paint. See the intercooler here. From uh, Gritty Trust. So, let's have a quick look under here and the nice glass headlights so you don't have to worry about those fogging up or anything. It's pretty cool. And here we go. Quite the mods here, which, uh, by the way, this. Uh, even the hood prop. <laughs> uh, give me a second here. It's uh, actually really light, which means it's probably made of titanium, especially when you see the burnt edges on there for how they bent it. So pretty sure it's titanium by the, the weight. It's even lighter than aluminum of the same size. And so uh, quite a few mods on this one. And uh, it is tuned. I am not sure what it dynos at, but it's uh, quite smooth actually. 
And uh, from the list that the sales guys gave me, they uh, mentioned uh, cams in here as well. And uh, I'm not so sure about the pulleys. But uh, we do have the uh, good old strut bar there. We do have modified suspension. But uh, yeah, from what we got here, we've got the gritty for the uh, whole intake system and intercooler. <laughs> Just look at the piping though, it's, it's pretty awesome. And of course we got Samco silicon there for the hoses. We do have the upgraded radiator. As you can see, quite a good bit of volume on there, so definitely plenty of cooling. And we do have HKS cams in. You can see the adjustable cam gears here. So if you guys want to fine tune it even further, you can. But they've already got it to quite a good spot. And uh, we do have coilovers from Spirit. So let's see if I can actually get a decent view under there. You can kind of see. But uh, anyways. Yeah, so quite a few mods on there. And of course that uh, exhaust that I showed you earlier is from Fujitsubo. So plenty of reputable parts. Oil filter relocation kit. And it looks like there's extra plumbing for the oil cooler, but I wasn't sure if that was here or where it might be. Quite a bit of extra plumbing, which is very nice. They definitely got the support there for you. And here's some numbers that you guys can look up on your favorite registry. All that good stuff right there. Still really surprised when I first saw this where I was like, whoa, is that really titanium? And yes, <laughs> it is. And uh, we do have, as you can see, the ballasts there and there for the HIDs. So the lighting and safety, everything that you need. All right, uh, let me drop the hood here for a second. And all that good stuff to get you to go, we've got this D2 big brake kit here, which you can see that's a uh, two-piece rotor. Pretty hefty there, so you can safely stop as well. We've got the D2 calipers in the back as well with these Nismo wheels and Yokohama tires there, so very nice. And uh, actually, I'll give you a little bit of a closer look at, oh, you can kind of see the dash there as well from another angle. See the paint looking real nice there. And of course the good old GTR logo there. And just so you can see the fitment there, really nice. So, mm. Fujitsubo exhaust right there. Decent diameter piping all the way back for high flow. It's got a good sound to it. It wasn't really loud. You know, it's definitely louder, but not loud. But then again, if you get on the throttle a lot more, it's definitely gonna be louder. There you go, here. A look at the oh by the way you can also see for uh, some of the extra wiring for the upgraded fuel system and good old spare tire in case you need it but it looks like they didn't need it here either so that's good just got to take care of that and of course on the side here got some additional tools like the jack and everything which is still included here. Plenty of room in the trunk. Just 
just uh, one more look here. Quite nice. Well, uh, there you have it, crew. Another fine R32. And, uh, you know, we haven't done too many of them lately, but we definitely, uh, we actually had this towards the end of the year last year, but um, finally got around to making the video now. We got plenty more where that came from. And of course, as always, you can contact our sales team info at jdm-expo.com or hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All DMs will go to them. They can answer all your questions if you're interested in this or any other vehicles. So they can definitely let you know your options and uh, you can even check some of our reviews. Uh, there are plenty of customers that ask about other cars and just kind of looking at other JDM options. Uh, they can definitely let you know what's available because obviously some of them are a little bit higher priced these days. The popularity has not died down one bit. Definitely lots of people that want their R32s and 33s and already the 34s, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you following are well aware of. So uh, there are other JDM classics out there and I'd actually like to see some more Sephiros and Laurels, but uh, we haven't had too many uh, questions about that but uh, I know those are pretty hard to find as well but uh, definitely older skylines are the top winner there and plenty of Supra so uh, if you guys are wondering about those or other options I mean come on guys get some more Sylvia's <laughs> we got a few uh, Integra's that have come through and Civics so uh, definitely the stuff that back in my day uh, were really popular but uh, some now they're classics so really interesting to see well hope you guys enjoyed that and stay fresh you guys uh, stay safe wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.